If you want to enable and use the screen distance feature on your iPhone running iOS 17, then this video is for you. So if you're worried about your eyesight or want to reduce eye strain when using the phone, then it's a good idea to enable this feature. The phone will show you a notification that your iPhone is too close and that you have to keep it further away. This is especially useful if you give your kids the phone and you're worried about their eyesight. Firstly, you want to make sure that your iOS device is running iOS 17. That's the latest version of iOS, and this screen distance feature was introduced with iOS 17, so make sure your software is updated to the latest version. Now, in order to turn on this feature, you want to open the settings on your device and then we'll find an option called Screen Time. If you have a Screen Time passcode, simply enter it if you want to get access to the Screen Time settings. In Screen Time, tap on the Screen Distance option and you'll be prompted to this page. It says here that the Screen Distance option will alert us to hold our iPhone or iPad device with Face ID at a recommended distance. This can reduce eye strain and the risk of myopia in children. Let's continue to the next step. We'll get some information on how this feature works. It says that the iPhone should be held at a suggested distance of at least 12 inches from your eyes. So if your phone is closer than 12 inches for a long period of time, the iPhone will send an alert to remind you to keep the device a little bit further from your face. Let's continue to the next step, and you want to make sure that this is enabled. This is a pretty useful little feature that can help you with reducing eye strain and other stuff that can be caused by holding the phone too close to your eyes. Keep in mind that this is not medical advice or anything like that, but I suggest you enable this feature on your iOS 17 device because if you hold the phone too close to your eyes for too long, it can cause some serious problems with your eyesight, concentration, and all that other stuff. This feature is not going to prevent that completely, but it can help a lot with the issue. And that's it. If you want more iOS 17 tutorials, make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.